I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 12th of August, and we are hoping and pulling for rain coming in here. Not a continuous rain, but tropical showers occasionally beginning tomorrow, lasting through the weekend and maybe well into next week. Let's take a look. Sky cam shots this afternoon. First off, coming from Trustville, just northeast of Birmingham from uh, Chalkville Mountain Road. Pretty decent amount of sunshine. Again today, showers around here are very hard to find. It seems like we're in the subsidence ring surrounding the tropical system, which is sinking air, offsetting the rising air parcels on a hot summer day. Here's the uh, Gadsden sky cam, very similar sky there. And way down south, that's the Dauphin Island uh, sky cam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. Right there at the uh, entrance to Mobile Bay, the sky is cloudy, and they have seen a number of tropical showers today. But up this way, guess what? It's hot. Yeah, it's been hot forever. Last time we had a day under 90 was the 4th of July. Tuscaloosa, 99. Birmingham, 96. Anniston, 95. Those are taken at uh, 1 o'clock today. So Tuscaloosa could hit 100 before the day is over. And again, cooling showers very hard to find. That's the radar at 130. And you can see a few showers down there in the southern part of the screen in uh, Marengo and Choctaw and Dallas counties. In fact, we go down to the Mobile radar, and you can see that the uh, larger rain areas are still in the Gulf with tropical showers scattered across the southern part of Alabama. Convective outlooks, as you uh, should know, all of the action is up north. That's the rest of today and tonight, and there's tomorrow. Uh, places like Wichita, Kansas City, Des Moines, and Minneapolis-St. Paul are in that slight risk. Hey, hey, QPF numbers coming up. That's good. Rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting 6 inches near Panama City, Fort Walton Beach, Destin, 5.5 inches around New Orleans, and up this way, amounts of 1 to 2 inches are likely, and this is valid through, again, Tuesday morning of next week, and by golly, we will take that. And understand it's going to take several days probably to get everybody up to that, but some folks will see more as these tropical downpours can produce a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. And actually, the tropics are pretty quiet considering this is mid-August. We've got our uh, broad low coming in to the Gulf Coast region. Elsewhere, we've got a few uh, unorganized waves out there, but nothing to identify at this point. There's a visible satellite shot of the Gulf of Mexico, and you can see how there is a broad surface low that stretched out near the mouth of the Mississippi River. In fact, we'll check the uh, surface analysis, and it's actually got the, uh, the, the low, a 10-10 millibar low really centered around the coast of Mississippi with convection showing up in scattered pockets uh, all up and down the uh, Gulf Coast, and that deeper moisture is moving north. Let's check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Friday. Heights are coming down. At the surface, moisture levels coming up. So instead of a radar screen with maybe three, four, or five showers, we see, should see a number of showers and storms tomorrow, and highs will drop back into the mid-90s. Saturday, very deep moisture in place, scattered to numerous showers and storms, low 90s. In fact, most of the statistical guidance printing a high only at 90 on Saturday. Hey, break out the sweaters. And Sunday, again, you can see evidence of a broad surface low just west of here. And if that's the case, that could be a really good setup for rain. Very tropical air, some lifting coming from that feature, and again, a pretty good chance of showers and storms. Next week on Monday, big trough developing to the north, the heat bubble being suppressed off to the west and down below that, same deal. Moist air, broad surface low just west of here. Tuesday, we stay moist and Wednesday of next week. Same thing. The air noticeably drier north of us up around uh, Chicago and Indianapolis, but that front's not going to make it. And a week from today, Thursday the 12th, look at the heights coming down. That would suggest a high only in the 80s out there if this is right. And down below that, still a surface low near... Monroe, Louisiana, with a pretty good chance of showers and storms. So really, after today, each day, we think that we'll be in pretty prime position for a decent number of showers and storms each day. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is August the 28th, and we got a 588 ridge across the deep south. And yeah, look in the Atlantic, big old bad hurricane well to the east of Chesapeake Bay. But this is voodoo land. Hey, come on. You know, this will disappear on the next run, but... That's what you expect to see out there in late August. Will it be in the Atlantic or the Gulf? We don't know, but 
Again, don't be shocked if something like that can happen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.